Texas A&M has arrived in Nashville tomorrow night. They take on the Vanderbilt Commodores. We have with us wide receivers coach Aaron Moorhead. And first, just the challenge that faces you against the Commodores. They can really play defense. Yeah, they're a great team. Um, obviously, we know uh, you know that, that they've struggled a little bit on offense, but on defense, it's been the, the opposite. They, they've been the strength of their team. Uh, they're, they're one of the top teams in the country in third down. They're one of the top teams in the SEC in red zone efficiency. So uh, we got a we got a great challenge ahead of us. But you know that that's that's been a great thing for us. I think it's kept the guys focused and kept us really, you know, at, at, at a time where we need it, uh, really with something to prove. And, and that's a good thing going into a game like this. Mm -hmm. Ricky Seals Jones, he just seems to be improving at the position week in and week out. How important is he to you tomorrow night? He's always important. You know, a guy that's big with that big and that strong. And uh, is doing a great job catching the football right now. I mean, he's a matchup, and 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 for for defenses, we're always looking at how can we exploit our matchups and how can we use guys, uh, you know, to to take advantage of what they have. And Ricky is a perfect complement to Christian, and I think Josh and Speedy on the outside are great complements to each other. So I really like what we have going right now in the receiver room. We got Julian Obioha with us. Vanderbilt on offense. Is it kind of a ground and pound? Do they want to hit you rushing the football? They want to do uh, a lot of what Arkansas does. They want to they want to run the football. They want to control the clock or rely on their uh, top 25 defense. So you know we know what they're going to do going to the game. They're going to try and uh, run the ball, control the clock, and uh, Coach Davis has challenged us up front to stop the run. So it is a front seven type of ball game. Work cut out for you tomorrow night, right? I think uh, Coach Hagan and Coach Price uh, hit it on the head on uh, Monday. So we have to have our best game up front. So we know what type of game it's going to be. They're going to try and run the ball, control the clock, and we're open as a defense. We won't let that happen. Expecting some cold weather by the game's end. Could be in the 20s with the wind chill. That factor in in any way? Uh, no, sir. You know, uh, weather shouldn't be much of a distraction. You know, there's, there's tons of stuff, momentum swings, you know, turnovers, all this other stuff that happens in a game that might be a little distraction. Weather should not be a distraction during a football game.